What up, Search Fam? Sharday here. Welcome back to the channel. It's time for my September bullet journal walkthrough. It's crazy. September's here already. For the month of September, I went nostalgic because honestly y'all this is the first year that i am not in school so i did sort of a nod back to my childhood and went with a lisa frank vintage school back to school theme and it really it was different and it came out cute because i used a lot of stickers which i don't usually do and washi tape um and i also experimented with letter stickers and Y'all gonna have to bear with me because it was a touch and go, but we got here. So for this, I used these two, mostly these two milk liners um, in a light blue and a light purple, as well as the Sharpie S gel pen in 0.7 black and an actual Sharpie retractable marker pen which I found. So this is what we also used. For the cover page, I printed out a composition book and I saw this in Amanda Rach Lee's August bullet journal for hers and I thought that is a super cute idea. So I printed out a composition book and got a gang of Lisa Frank stickers off of Amazon and shared them with my bestie. We did uh, matching bullet journal themes so this is this is my offering on the second page I took my schedule and morning routines and put them on the same page and used it like you would in a trapper keeper for school and put my what I'm doing each day of the week and I sort of changed I'm experimenting with different uh, weekly schedules so I haven't found one that I really like, so we just we shifted a few things around. And then my morning routines, because I really am trying to be more intentional about sticking to a morning and evening routine and not working crazy hours and making sure that I start my day on the right track. I also took some washi tape and line the size for this page and the next double spread which is my dashboard and my dashboard like last month uh, has my focus goals affirmation for the month and then the monthly check-in and on the other side again I'm keeping um, a small block calendar but I am using it as a mood tracker and as well as to know what day it is and schedule my appointments which i made a small uh notebook paper to hold my appointments for the month and i am tracking four habits this month and that is again as always because i'm trying to make sure we stay hydrated so hydration meditation writing because my goal is to write more this this month and taking my vitamins For my gratitude log, I drew a full page notebook paper and my lines are wonky, but y'all don't judge. Sometimes bullet journaling doesn't go the way we want it, but we, st we still persist. And then I did the weekly action plan again because I'm actually finding it to be quite helpful. And I made each week a post-it note, which was new trying to figure out how to do the little flip up so that you know it's a note and not just a block. Next we have our soul dump. You already know that I don't go a month without keeping space to think through what I'm experiencing and meditating on and learning throughout the month. I did another notebook paper themed page for my expense tracker. I just really, I'm liking it. It's super cute. And this month I added what I'm calling a creative dump, um, just a one page spread 
where I have room to think through any content ideas or I'm working on some short stories. So if I have an idea for my short story that I'm working on for this month, I can jot it in my bullet journal if I have it um, and forget to do it on another piece. So it's not on just random sheets of paper because writers be like. And finally, we have the weekly spread. I wanted to try a floating spread, weekly spread. So I think it looks a little sparse, but it does have room for me to do my tasks as well as my what I accomplished and some room for reflecting if I want to reflect any day. So it's allowing me to sort of do everything at once and it just doesn't have any headers outside of the day. One thing I decided to do differently is to take my currently spread and put it each week and sort of keep track of what I am listening to, watching and reading each week as opposed to just one large spread. So we'll see how that works out. I hope you enjoyed my August bullet journal setup. It is very whimsical. It's taking me back to back to school, which is nice because I am not back to school this year. As always, friends, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, tell a friend to tell a friend about the channel. See you in the next one. Bye. Thank you.